Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Liberate Boot Nations. My name is Eleonora and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming full moon in Taurus on October 31st. As we all know, Taurus is an earth fixed sign. So this lunation is mainly going to touch on things about security, stability, and money and how we can get these and go about these themes in unexpected ways. There are not a lot of aspects in play during the sonation, but the aspects that are in play are very, very impactful. The first and most important aspect that we have is that the moon is gonna be conjunct Uranus. Uranus is the most rebellious planet in the solar system. So with this aspect, we can expect the unexpected surprises rebellion are themes of this full moon uranus is here to shake up anything that we call secure and stable and not letting us get away with excuses sometimes with fixed energy especially earth fixed energy we can get in our own way and stay stagnant with the excuse that this is comfortable and this is where i feel safe and this is what uranus is here to do to get us out of those comfort zones and not to use it as an excuse um kind of like the saying like well this is the way that it always was doesn't mean that it's the best way to do it so with this i really encourage you to get out there and explore different ways that you can express yourself or you can get your security whether that's financial financial, spiritual security, emotional security, or physical security um, in ways that you didn't really think before. Explore a little more. Also with anything unexpected, mixed, fixed energy, it can feel as though things are trying to throw us off course, but I think mainly what the energy is trying to do now is letting you know that there are other ways that we can do things and there are other ways that we can explore um stuff really and especially with 2020 the whole world is changing right now so this is really a way for the planetary energy to tell us to move forward and not stay stagnant just because it feels safe i feel like this conjunction with uranus is going to make sure that we keep moving forward but it might be in an unexpected way or towards an unexpected path. Another aspect that we are having is Mercury, who is retrograde and ingressed Libra a couple days ago, will be squaring all Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in Capricorn. Now with Mercury retrograde, we already know that communication is under revision. It's a good time to reassess, reevaluate all the re's during this period of time. Now with the square to all Jupiter, uh, Saturn and Pluto who have been in Capricorn for way too long if you ask me um, it does indicate thinking about the future and having high hopes so for me this is a good time to work on your stuff work on it on the down low really use that sobering discipline energy that Saturn brings to the table and also that expansive um, energy that Jupiter is trying to give us even though it's in Capricorn um, so it doesn't really have the tools to work with um, stuff as as good as it wants to um, it still gives us a little bit of that expansive energy so I think um, especially with mercury retrograde we're still in a revision period so it is best to work behind the scenes just to make sure you have all your ducks in a row um, to actually execute once we exit the retrograde period Jupiter and Capricorn also squares Mars retrograde in Aries so this is another energy which which usually would give us um, a boost to our energy, a little bit of physical stamina, but with Mars being retrograde, it takes a different tone of just like, okay, let's work behind the scenes, let's work on the DL, let's make sure that we have everything set in place so that when we have a more direct energy to work with to actually set these plans in motion there are no hiccups or obstacles in the way as always with anything mars like i said in my last video take it easy take your time with it make sure not to overreact even if you want to act on an impulse just really take time to just stop and be like okay is this really what i should be doing should i just maybe reassess a little bit more because mars being the planet of action and assertion and just wanting to go get things is retrograde so keep that in mind now it's that time i'm going to pull a card for you guys and for the 
collective really um, just to see what energy we can lean into during this uh, rebellious full moon in Taurus that we'll have. Okay, so we got Vesta, which is an asteroid. Now, I don't personally work with um, asteroids other than Chiron in my practice. So I'm going to see what the little book says um, for anybody that wants to know. This is the Arcana of Astrology by Claire Goodchild. So Vesta is called the Keeper. She was the Roman goddess of the home and the hearth. When Vesta comes up in a reading, right now is all about you and reconnecting to your passion. Where does your spark of inspiration reside and how can you turn it into a roaring fire? Sometimes we feel that initial urge to create, but don't know how to direct it productively. Vesta grants us the gift of focus. Everything is falling into place and will continue to do so as long as we stay genuine in our desires. You may be asked to give something up in exchange for getting what you want. How much are you willing to sacrifice? Follow your instincts and your intuition and the choice will be easy. Once you make this decision, you have to give it 110% and see it all the way through. So I like this um, because especially with the, um, what are you giving up in exchange? Like if you have to for what you want, that can be a very Uranus thing trying to shake things up. It's like the future does not look like it, like your life right now. The future, it, the only thing constant that we have is human beings is change. So there is no point in fighting it. There is something that you can give up to follow your dreams and desires, even though that it does not look like you planned or like you thought it would. Just trust that the universe has your best interests at heart. And obviously always tap in with your intuition and communicate with your guides and angels. I highly, highly, highly recommend you develop a spiritual practice right now, just because the the only thing that's reliable right now is our own selves and our instinct and that can only be exercised once you connect with your spirit with your spirits really and, and with the spiritual world you can strengthen your intuition you can strengthen um, your gut feeling and besides having your guides have your back it's amazing so i highly recommend it for this time i always recommend healings and coaching as well just because you can let go of stuff clear your energetic field and then you can have somebody there as well kind of keeping you in check with coaching and guiding you a little bit meditation i recommend is one of our awesome meditations breath work and hoponopono it's um Hawaiian meditation, forgiveness meditation with Jay Bradley. That's the first Tuesday of every month at 7 p.m. All of our classes are via Zoom and online, so you can go to our website, liberateyourself.com, and get tickets. All right, you guys, that is it for this full moon in Taurus. Let me know what's coming up for you this full moon. What are you ready to release? What are you ready to leave behind to make room for the next lunar cycle and for those changes that we need right now in our lives? As always, we are here for you. Let us know how you're feeling below. If you need anything, holler at us, DM us, email us, give us a call. We got you. I'm wishing everybody a happy Halloween, a happy full moon, sending much love and many, many blessings. Energy healing is a form of therapy that helps uh, treat the person on all levels of their life, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, etherically, which is energetically and physically. I'm energy, this chair is energy, everything around us is energy. Uh, when we you receive an energy healing session, it's a transmission of life force. There are a lot of techniques that we can use to balance the energy field. Uh, regardless of the practitioner, there are certain ways in which each of us can connect to and help the client um, rebalance whatever it is that's going on in their energy field that is creating dis-ease or discomfort in their lives. 
We work with you both in person and remote. Energy healing is good for everything. So you can use it to manifest something, you can use it to uh, treat a, an ailment, whether it's something physical, mental, emotional. And we cleanse your chakras, balance you, clear out stress, physical issues, worry, fear, trauma, anxiety. Release cords, release things in your life or in your body temple that are keeping you from moving forward. I normally suggest that people get an energy healing whenever they feel that they need it. A healing energy work should be done on a regular basis, like taking a shower. If you're watching this and it crosses your mind, hmm, out of curiosity, get a healing. You're being called to it, 